One way an overhead line can become energized is by closing a breaker or switch that feeds the line. Whether this happens accidentally or on purpose, the line will become energized. Another way is for the line to be energized from a foreign or unintentional voltage source. For example, a car hitting a pole can cause an energized line to come in contact with an isolated or de-energized line. Energized lines could also make contact with an isolated or de-energized line due to tree limbs falling into the lines during tree trimming work, other line maintenance work, stringing operations or storms. Lightning is a concern as well. When electrical storms are in the general vicinity, work on overhead lines may be suspended. Although the immediate work area may be free of electrical storms, lightning strikes on other parts of the system could result in transient voltages that may make the work area unsafe. Another way an isolated line can become energized is due to mutual induction from nearby energized lines. This can occur when normal load currents in an energized line induce voltage and currents in an adjacent line. The level of voltage and current induced depends on the strength and size of the electromagnetic field of the nearby energized line and how close it is to the isolated line. In addition, dust particles suspended in the air in conditions of high humidity such as fog, can become a conducting medium. Also, air passing over long stretches of isolated line can cause a static electricity charge to build up in an isolated line. One way to protect yourself in the event that the line you're working on becomes energized is to set up a work area that will eliminate or limit any current flow in your body. We'll take a look at how that works a little later in the program. But for now, let's look at a typical grounding procedure you may already be familiar with. In this procedure, grounds are applied to the isolated line to be worked on. There are a variety of ways to do this because of the variety of construction arrangements that can be found in a typical distribution system.